Having space to think is essential for excellent research. Research is about asking questions and seeking answers by thinking laterally. How does a virus find its way into a cell? What happens in our brains when we think? Which joint functions influence the way we move? These are all questions that researchers are exploring at Humboldt Universität. Solving these questions requires networked thinking and interdisciplinary research opportunities. In order to successfully promote its young researchers, Humboldt Universität offers a comprehensive funding program that goes right up to the junior professorship level. But effective support for young researchers must already begin during their first degree programs. The interdisciplinary education is important and also challenging because the problems that the students have to solve in the future will also be more and more complicated. They have to learn how to deal with different challenges but also how to understand people coming from different fields and bringing in different expertises. Humboldt Universität has existed as a comprehensive university for 200 years now. Today, its three campuses create an academic network that spans the city of Berlin. On campus Nord, life scientists work in close proximity to the Charité University Hospital. Campus Mitte, in the heart of the city, is the oldest of the three locations. It's home to the humanities, the social sciences, economics and law. Campus Adlershof is located in southeast Berlin. It's part of Adlershof, Berlin's leading science, business and media location. The site brings together six of Humboldt's scientific departments, 11 non-university research institutes and many technology companies. Autonomous flying robots are the focus of a research project of the Cognitive Robotics Group at Campus Adlershof. Junior professor Verena Hafner and her team aim to develop the technology for agricultural measurement purposes and as flying access points for sensor networks in crisis regions. Their main challenge involves developing bio-inspired navigation strategies. Looking at things from a distance and watching the world from above helps researchers to focus on the essentials. Here in the Department of Geography, analyzing satellite images is just one of the many building blocks that make up the Integrative Research Institute on the Great Transformations of Human Environmental Systems, known as Erythesis for short. The Erythesis will bundle research under three research domains. First, sustainable land use in the 21st century. Second, sustainable cities in the urban millennium. And third, societal transformations and global justice. What is special about thesis is its highly interdisciplinary way of doing research. We couple humanities, national sciences and social sciences across all campi of Humboldt University. Questions related, for example, to climate impact research can only be answered in such an interdisciplinary way. The Integrative Research Institute for the Sciences at Adlershof also actively promotes research in interdisciplinary networks. Edith Adlershof brings together chemists, computer scientists, mathematicians and physicists in collaborative research projects. Multidisciplinary research is at the heart of SALSA, the Graduate School of Analytical Sciences. SALSA aims to modernize approaches to analytical sciences and build bridges between chemistry, physics and biology. At Edith Adlershof, mathematicians and theoretical physicists explore questions about the origins of the universe. Another area of research here is hybrid systems. These consist of both inorganic and organic materials. They offer potential for new intelligent materials with previously inaccessible optoelectronic properties. Research into the systems is being carried out in cooperation with non-university partners. The Joint Lab for Structural Research, for example, allows Humboldt scientists to work directly with researchers from the Helmholtz Centrum Berlin. Hybrid systems provide wonderful perspective for optoelectronics and therefore for our information-based society. In order to solve problems associated with these systems, we need to develop an integrative research culture to work under one roof, joint laboratories, open to all scientific partners. 
within Iris Adlers Hof. We want to establish interdisciplinarity with flexibility and breadth of a comprehensive research university. From cracking the codes of individual genes to research on overarching biomedical topics and their clinical application, the human body is the focus of the Integrative Research Institute for the Life Sciences. At this campus Nord location, researchers from Humboldt Universität, the Charité and the Max Delbruck Center work together. At the Bernstein Center, researchers working in interdisciplinary research groups measure neuronal activity to decode thought patterns of the brain. Observations of the human brain are a key element of the research work at the center. Clinical application completes the cycle of research into the life sciences. The exciting idea behind the Institute of Integrative Research for Life Sciences is that we can use complementary approaches, theoretical and experimental ones to study from a single molecule in this living cell to the whole organism, that means human being, and to address biomedical problems in order to develop new drugs, new strategies to prevent infection by influenza virus, for instance. Many research projects depend on images, microscopic images, diagrams, animations or visualizations. These images help researchers to understand their findings. Researchers in art and cultural history, Horst Bredekamp and Wolfgang Schaffner, address the question of the design of such images. Their work is carried out in the interdisciplinary laboratory called Image Knowledge Gestaltung. Renowned philosopher and scientist Charles Sanders Peirce said, I never think in words, and left an impressive legacy of many thousands of drawings. Peirce and his work provided the inspiration for this multidisciplinary laboratory which explores the nature and the impact of imaging methods on how we think across all academic disciplines. The aim is... A kind of enlightenment uh, uh, to understand uh, the complexity of the process of visualization in, in, in the sciences and beyond. Uh, and the second step, and that is, as, a, as far as I see, completely new, is that we do not only would like to analyze these objects of Gestaltung, but we would like to produce them. We hope that after the discussions in our laboratory, we will find new ways of visualization which would define a new uh, level of precision, of reflection, etc., and maybe also of beauty. Enabling research excellence. This is how Humboldt Universität has defined its path into the future.